Hi, this is Doc Talk. Have I got another? <laughs> have I got another uh, something to tell you? Scientists grow miniature human brain in a lab. This also comes from The Verge. Um, now there's a little, somewhat of a little picture or something of it on here. I'll uh, put the link to this article below. Scientists have long been taunted by the human brain. After all, the very organ that gives us knowledge remains largely unmastered. Something President Obama has set to res uh, set to something sorry something President Obama has set to rectify, in part with an ambitious effort to map the brain. An incredible new development brings us closer to understanding the human mind. However, researchers have successfully grown a mini brain in the lab. The lab cultivated tissue represents the first time a three dimensional mass with multiple diagnos uh, sorry, multiple distinct brain regions have been created and it could offer researchers an invaluable tool for working towards a cure for brain disease certain brain disease. So many make a brain, or I'm sorry, so why make a brain in the lab? Knowledge of human functions is often based on animal studies and the theories drawn from those experiments rarely map perfectly with the human body. Um, Jurgen Knoblich, PhD, who led the team responsible for this new development, explains that transferring the knowledge that we obtain from an animal models to our ultimate goal of understanding human disease and the human body is one of the greatest challenges of modern biomedical research. Analysis of living human organs would make the entire process much easier. But there are obvious ethical concerns, you think? <laughs> Um, hence, the drive to produce organs in the lab. A push that is already led by um, that's already led to functional human-generated liver, heart, eye, and pituitary gland tissues grown in cultures. But as Dr. Knoblich told members of the press, so far, most complexity of all human organs, the most complex of all human organs, which is the human brain, has not been success susceptible to these methods. Wow. That is something else. That is bizarre. I'll, um, I'll let you read the, the rest of the article on your own if you'd like. I'll put it down below in the description box. Growing human organs in a lab? Wow, that's, uh, that's really something. It's amazing how far medicine has come. And, um, yeah, I'd say there's ethical things here. But when you've got a loved one who's dying of brain cancer or something and somebody could grow them a new brain that's from their own flesh and put it in there wow or even a part of it that's diseased wow
you know, would you do it to save your loved one or family member? It'd be a hard, hard, hard thing to call. This is another episode of Doc Talk. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a great day, everyone, and be well. Signing off.